Okay, so now we are focusing on detecting faces with the Azure AI vision. After completing this module, you will be able to understand features, use cases and responsibility of Azure AI Vision Face API. You are also going to use the Face API in your app. And before we do that thing, let's understand the options for face detection, face analysis and face recognition. Now, when you say image analysis and when you say face analysis, these are two different things. Image analysis is mostly going to do a people detection or only a location provided for that particular person. While when we say we are detecting faces, the face detection service is actually going to find out the location of the face, is also going to find out some other attributes of the face like head pose, identification, landmarks, recognition, or maybe some kind of a comprehensive facial feature analysis like whether the person is wearing glasses or whether the person is wearing mask or not. Uh, you can also do face comparison and identification if you are uh, focusing on face recognition service. And then you also have facial recognition service, which is going to identify a unique person from the group of people in the images. So that is something which we are going to see. But before you use facial services, you need to have certain things in your mind. You need to consider certain things for face detection and facial recognition. Remember, we have a responsible AI principles. Now in the principles of responsible AI, which is applied to all kinds of applications, but systems that rely on facial data can be particularly problematic because a human face is anyhow a personal information of every human being. As a safeguard for responsible AI usage, facial recognition, identification, verification, and comparison is behind a limited access policy from Microsoft side. Whenever you want to use a facial recognition service, you have to approve by Microsoft, you have to make a request and if they approve and enable the service for you to use this feature, then only you'll be able to do that thing. There is a request form which is available on the Azure portal also where you can request for facial recognition service. They will review it and if they approve, all good. If they do not approve, you cannot do face recognition but yes you can do face detection now there are things which we have to keep in mind which is like data privacy and security because system based on facial data should protect individual privacy ensuring that personally identifiable data is not assessed inappropriately also users should be informed about the image will be used and who will have access to it as transparency and then finally we also have to take care of fairness and inclusiveness because facial recognition should not be used in a manner that is prejudicial to individuals based on their appearance or to unfairly target individuals now let's talk about what kind of features what kind of things a face service can do hey guys sorry for interruption my name is maruti and i'm here to make a very important announcement I hope you are liking our videos and you're doing a continuous learning with us on an Azure cloud and AI related topics. If you are enjoying this thing, I'm going to announce skilltech.club, which is our upcoming website, which is going to be launched very soon. We are here to tell you one thing that everyone who is a subscriber of this particular channel will get Azure cloud and Azure AI related certification courses free of cost in skilltech.club. So, you will be a part of the skilltech.club kind of a membership automatically free of cost and everyone who's a subscriber of this particular channel will get those benefits which are available in that so what are you waiting for i request you to please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and families if they are also interested in azure cloud and ai learning that's it from my side now you can carry on with your learning thank you first obviously we can do face detection Second, we can do face attribute analysis where we can have head pose, glasses, blur, exposure, noise or occlusion or bounding box kind of things inside that. We can also focus on facial landmark location where we can find out nose, eyes, mouth associated with their face. We can do face comparison. Uh, we can compare whether these two persons are same or different. We can do facial recognition and identification where we can identify whether this person is the same person who was there in the other picture or maybe we can give a proper identity of the user by unique id or a name 
and then we can identify this is the same person or not and we can also check a facial liveness whether this is a real person who's having a live face available with that or it's just a fake one it can be used as a standalone face resource or this is also available in the multi-service Azure AI service suite. It's going to be available in both the ways. It's your choice how you want to do that. Now when you're using a face detection service, as I said, it is available on approval basis. But yes, every detected face is going to be assigned an anonymous unique ID, which is going to be retained in the system for 24 hours. It can be used to compare faces in multiple images so that you can identify whether this is the same person or not. It's going to be helping you to verify faces to determine if they are the same individuals or not. Finding similar faces to identify faces with similar features and that's exactly what the service can do in face identification. Now how long this face recognition will persist? It? Well, when you're going to train a facial recognition model using face images, you can create a person group for the people you want to identify. You can add a person for each individual. You can add multiple detected faces to each person. Then this become persisted faces. And then on those persisted faces, you can train the model. Once you train the model, it's going to keep that data in the model training. It's going to use that. And then you can use the model for facial recognition where they can identify an individual person. They can verify the face of an individual person and they can also find similar faces to a persisted face. Same like you have seen this thing in maybe image uh, identification or classification kind of thing. We get do similar kind of thing with the face identification and finding a similar kind of uh, faces which are persisted in that. Now when you're doing face detection with Azure AI Vision, you can use the face endpoint and specifying faces as a visual feature. Please make a note. Most features like recognition and identification are not enabled for new users as we mentioned again and again that it is something which is available on the request basis. When you're going to use this, the request is going to look like this. You can see in the right side box, we have a request URL, which is your base endpoint, then face service with particular version, and then you are invoking a detect method. The body of this particular request is going to have the URL of that particular image which you're providing in that. For example, you're providing this image which is visible at the left side. The response is going to be a JSON object which is going to show you a unique face ID, recognition model which is used for that, and then it's going to show you the face rectangles, face landmarks, and the other configurational properties which they have detected using the model process. Anyways, we are going to use this thing in the next demo, so let's get head to that. We have a demo of detect and analyze faces with Azure AI Vision Service. We are going to try this demo and then we are going to look forward to this.